finish. But can Lennon apply pressure here? Another of those would be nice. Can't find it, so... Advantage Mervyn King here. Will this go? Treble 14, double 11 for Lennon. Unlucky, just the wrong side of the wire for the first top plus finish. Goes away from him and he's disappointed with that. Can King capitalize and break? He does. And Mervyn King those this year well, I've been around and about when they've fallen in somehow yes I had a few titles like that as well <laughs> what he's doing hey, though he's is he's hitting maximums against the throw and he's taking control here at the beginning of the second set wrong treble there for Sing. Lennon and, and King with plenty of time to take out this hundred He's got six darts if he needs them. Swing. And he might. Lennon back on 188. Yeah, if you remember Lennon, he kind of had trouble finishing. But then, before Merv got a real chance, he Whoa. took it. So Merv Maybe trying to return the favor here. Four missed. It's straight in the middle of the double six. Good leg himself here against the throw to try and get that 3 0 advantage. It's what he does, John. We've seen it time and again from Mervyn King. Yeah, 72 left after nine darts. A brilliant leg. 96. Mervyn requires 72. So King for the set. Double four. Yes. Great finish that. 72. World Championship life here. Steve Lennon. Got to find a way to take this set. King in front on his throw. Yeah, 120 behind uh, to start the visit for Steve. And just can't, can't dent it at all. Loses ground. He's going to have all the pressure. On those shoulders, the 28-year-old, when he comes back for the final leg, is King just finding the big scores when it matters again. Ooh, this could be a big score that matters. Just needs a single even. Ooh, but he gets the Steve, Filling up the treble 19s to leave 1-3-2. King with the first shot. Double eight. Oh, brilliant, brilliant finish from Mervyn King. Yeah, and Merv will be looking for a maximum here. It's all about his first dart. He doesn't get it, so he makes the adjustment. He needs another. And that is a, it brings him back level with Lennon, essentially. Just one point between them. What a finish to this deciding leg in the fourth set. And Lennon can't find a key treble. So he's taken out a hundred. He's taken out 101. Can he do the 106? Needs a treble. And can't find it. Until the last start. So too late. But this has to go for Steve Lennon. He'll get two at tops. Double ten, it has to, and it doesn't. And Mervyn King has three match darts for a 4-0 whitewash. And to show his intent of going a long, long way. And Ali Pally. One more. Still not enough for Ryan Searle. So now all about Danny setting it up here. 
Where's he going here now? Staying up. 99. A 140 needed by Ryan Searle now. 94. Danny and require well, 83. 83 for the first set, which he looked like losing. Needs the bullseye. 58. So there is a chance for Ryan Searle. We'll need a ton plus finish. This will be something special. Trouble 18 leaves the ball. He's missed it. He's missed it. 40. Danny requires 20 opportunities. The door's been open. Hasn't been able to finish the job here in this first set. Double eight for Danny Noppert for a one set to nil lead. Needs double four now. Souls on 84 waiting. Game Great shot finish, Danny Noppert. Decent darts, those. The trouble 19 works for that second dart for Ryan Searle. He's 96, not put on 134, so this has got to go. We're in set two of this match. Noppert leads by a set to nil. 94. Ryan requires 96. 96. Leaves double 18. That's a decent marker. He's got to go and he does go and he breaks the up and throw. And now Ryan Searle has the darts to level this match. Long way to go. First to four. Searle looking to put pressure on now. One hundred. Can he require one hundred and forty-six? Yeah, even if you look back at say, say like the World Grand Prix, uh, you know he event. He eventually lost to Johnny Clayton, but uh, maybe Ian White, Vince Van the MBG 2-0. Well. Staying down the board. 86. And he requires so Danny Noppert has this opportunity now to take us into a deciding leg in set two. Tops he needs. Surely. Well, maybe pressure Ryan going to both of them here now. 60. For the set, Ryan Searle. There's the single, needs tops. Tops he gets. Levels the match at one set apiece. Opportunity now. To break back immediately. Big moment coming in now. Got to go for 14s, preferably treble 14. Oh, he's missed. So, Searle's back, but the big question mark now is the way Ryan Searle has played, can he take this opportunity? Ryan this is a real wins. test for him now. Needs the bullseye! Oh, oh, there you go! Ryan Searle. Searle's just not in any rhythm this afternoon, He's, he knows that it's a real tough contest this. Danny Nopper putting wow. the pressure on. Wow. Such a good player, Danny Nopper. 106. 106 needed. Trouble 18 would have left double 16. 58. Can't Danny find a trouble. Ryan Searle. Well, here we go. Tops. To break back and turn the two play. legs apiece. And now Danny Noppert has it. And so throwing, throwing it away again. Unless he can take out the 164 or set up the opportunity at least. But well, Danny Noppert's right piling the pressure on again. He's a two dart out shot. Trouble 19 would have left the ball. You right, here 85. we go then for the set to frustrate Ryan Searle again. 20 would leave Bull. Needs a bullseye for the set and a 2 1 lead. 16. And the door still Ryan open for Ryan Searle. Talk 72. about five margins in this match. This is remarkable. Double yeah, touch. Oh, he wins the set. Ryan 2 1 Ryan Searle leads. 
in last start. Not a totally focused on trying to get the job done here to level the match. Great darts. Six needed for Danny Nopper. 17 five. He can go out. Danny requires 66. And 11 darts here. Double 12 for Danny Nopper for the set. Double six. He's fortunate 16. and he double checks that Ryan Searle isn't on at a finish here. He's fortunate where that's concerned. Now looking to put pressure on. Big time. One run and 33. Daniel Not the easiest six. double on the board. But it's for the set. Game shown and Oh, he made set. it look easy all right. Daniel Daniel Hopper. Hopper. We've got a level game here. After four sets, Ryan so two. Oh, this is better. Oh, his way back and a bounce out is so one lucky. Runner, 20. Only require 148. We are down to an absolutely vital part of the game. 95. That was a tremendous last and start for Ryan Searle. 26. Another one would leave double six for Danny Nopper. Needs the bullseye. Width of a wire away. One required oh. 53. 53 needed. Needs tops. Two. Needs top. Double yes. ten. Yes. And, a big set. and Ryan so. Ryan so. An advantage very much for Danny Noppet. Good darts. Great darts, wow. Danny Noppet. Should go one apiece here now in set six. But it's only a hold of throw, remember. One run out, Fulty. That will require 82. No, this is job one. I think the ball's also 17 for double top. Just taking his time. 62. Again, as we saw in the uh, leg before, just pulled it under. Hasn't hit a ton plus yet. Trouble 16 would leave tops. It's that shot at tops again, and there you go. Problems once again at tops for Ryan Searle. If he'd have taken that out, he'd be throwing for the match. Double 10, Danny Noppert. It's got to go. Got to go. Huge dart coming in now. He's broken the Danny Nopper throw. Ryan able to respond. Ryan required 131. Well, he's got time on his side now, to Ryan Self, to tidy this up. 17 now. All Danny Nopper can do is try and put some pressure on. Ryan Sell will be back, requiring 52 for the match. Fultito. Ryan can he take 52 out 52. to beat Danny Nopper for the first time? Needs tops. Game. Shot. He wins the match on tops. We must be what? Six foot six, six foot seven? On the quarter. Using the inch of all 50 opening set from Clear Market. Got a chance to close out. Set one with a clean sweep, 89 oh. points for a one set lead. Oh. 80 left, two tops. What yeah. a way to finish off the first set that he dominated from the get go. And there will be cause for concern for Joe Cullen. He needs some sloppy darts from Clear Macken and, and probably a big finish himself or a big score here, followed by a finish. The 
because the reality is he's now hoping against hope that Clear Mac and Muffs this 56. Double 10. And he gets the job done, and Martin Clearmacher has won the first two sets of this match. There's the difference. There's Colin looks for another maximum. That's his third. Will it make any difference at all in this leg? This is the visit. Colin hopes is a treblous visit. And it is. Gets one. It's out of Joe Cullen's hands, but he can apply some pressure to that 108. And isn't he just? Brilliant from Cullen in the last six starts. Now this could almost be the match right here in these next two visits. No finish for Martin Clearmacher. Cullen now can turn this match on its head with a pop-pop finish. Tops for Joe Cullen to get right back in the match. Double ten, huge moment in the match. And he's missed it and he knows how important that is. The head went down straight away. I'm not convinced he went for an eight, Rod. I'm not either. And I think that threw him. He wanted a 16 and John Cullen would be kicking himself, he really forced the issue. Is Clearmacher going to close the door on set three? He is! And that is a three set lead and that could be the match. John Cullen now needs to emulate Dirk van Dijvenbode from yesterday or he is exiting the World Championship and just to indicate never been to the round of 16 in the PDC World Championship and maybe that's what got the better of him. Well, neither is Martin Clearmacher. Granted, this is his first attempt. And also, of course, Dirk van Diamond, though, who started producing some real heavy metal darts, didn't he? Uh, did produce. 77. And the brute, that set play can be brutal. You can get yourself within one of victory, and you've got to find three again. Well, Colin here has found his doubling form in this set. Found his dexterity on the doubles and continues. I think he can every dart to double in that set. He's at the point of no return, isn't he? He's 3 1 down in sets and 2 0 down in legs. Double eight for Martin. 68. How close that is. That's the difference. Big dart for Joe Cullen. Double 16. Just never felt confident in one of those days for Joe Cullen. He's on the brink of elimination. Yeah. In the second leg, Martin Cullen. The leg is Martin to throw first. And that break of six at the one six two. Even that could prove a little costly. He may not get a go. What a way to finish this would be. Oh, Clear Mac has had the match ball. start. Oh. Joe Cullen was that distance away from being knocked out. Can he stay in the tournament? 18 for tops, that's the only route. Double top for Joe Cullen. Yeah. And he finds it! And he finds it! He somehow finds a lifeline dangling from double top. Good see from Joe Cullen. Cullen has to respond in kind. Gotta find another one. Lucky. He's in touching distance. Clear Macker though. to slip. Cullen will be thinking he's got six now to wrap up a consecutive set. 93. Well, it does give him a finish but it's by no means a simple one. Triple 15 here and it would have given Clearmacher another match start. Cullen to stay alive. He's going to get a dart. It'll be 19 I'm sure. Double 16. And that is a Massive visit from Joe Cullen, he was two legs down in this set. Clearback has had a dart for the match, Cullen's rattled off three legs. Game on, and it's his dart in the sixth set. Six. Blast through this sixth set. Uh, sensibly not bringing the ball into play. of an atmosphere last night got the job done did the world champion oh. yeah, talking of champions champions night tonight Rob Cross against Daryl Gurney MVG against Chris Dobie Peter Wright plays Damon Hetter oh. and Joe Cullen oh.
Ward is really producing some five-star darts now in the seventh and deciding set. Oh, That's he is impressive from Joe Cullen. He hasn't finished the job yet, but 20 will be the dart. Double 16. Ward, he is now leading in the match for the first time. Playmaker still. Just a bit of an adrenaline rush that last start, so Playmaker still in the leg. He needs a rot stopper. Almost took out, as they would have said, the Netherlands did brought up Beast. He now wants double 16. Is this the rock stopper? The man time came after he needs it. This was so sharp. Double five. Yeah. Incredible from Claymacker. And he responds. Two darts. Similar to the last let go for Claymacker. 82 left. Yes. Went ball for double 16. 46. Tidies up to leave tops in the end. Claymacker can pressure them. That is pressure. This isn't a gimme, I assure you. Cullen to keep the match going. Now then, got to go. And Cullen blows three darts to prolong the tie. Clearmacker is going to get another match dart. It just depends how many. Thank you. Early on the match, it looked as though Martin Clearmacker was going to clean Joe Cullen's clock. But he has the chance after a dogged fight back from his opponent to wrap it up now in the final set. 64 for the match for the giant Dutchman. 16, leaves tops, one dart for the match, wild! But this isn't easy, no it's not. These are horrible finishes at the best of times. But Cullen has dodged another bullet, we are two minutes apiece. To cash it in against Kim Hybrex and boy did he cash in on it. Colin's got to find a break somewhere. He's got to oh, hold here first. That's 32. the main thing. That's the only thing at the moment for Joe Cullen. Cullen. Clearmaker. I'll be thinking he's got six. Cullen to stay alive. One, five, six. And that means there should be another match dart or darts incoming from Martin Clearmaker. Maybe at the ball. Maybe at the ball. Yes, the bullseye for the match. To Joe Cullen, after a thrilling battle, he ran off the first three sets.